Howard University is mourning the loss of one of its students after a crash on campus involving a faculty member. But questions still remain. 7 News' Liana Golden went to Howard tonight for a vigil for the freshman as we try to get some answers. Fresh roses in hand, friends holding each other and holding back tears. He really had a positive impact on anyone who met him. Mohamed Samora, a freshman at Howard University, weighs heavy on the hearts of hundreds tonight after he was struck and killed in an on-campus crash involving a faculty member who DC police say was speeding. I don't know, it's so weird because I literally just saw him last Wednesday in class and then He's just gone. DC Fire and EMS posted this photo of the crash Thursday, saying his injuries were not life threatening. Today, the university announced Samurda, who was from Fredericksburg, Virginia, died late Sunday evening. Muhammad was a student of mine. One of Samurda's teachers this semester says he was kind, outspoken, and extremely intelligent. He really blossomed. Um, he really engaged. I, I often look to him for answers. I was like, please help me, man. It really shows his impact on our community. You know, even people like me who just were in one class with him for a semester, you know, they got close to him. His classmate also blown away by his smarts. She says Samora always walked into class with a big smile on his face. He was always helping the teacher out. Like she would ask us questions and he would come up and solve them on the board. And he was just a very motivated student. So it's just really sad to see him gone. His presence, they say, will be truly missed. He was, he was wonderful. Seven News on your side asked DC Fire when the status and severity of some of his injuries changed. We're still waiting on a response. We've also asked the university for an update on the faculty member involved. A spokesperson says they can't answer any questions at this time as the entire incident remains under investigation by DC police. In Northwest tonight, Liana Golden, Seven News.